Head of Sunderland player recruitment, Stuart Harvey visited Australia in May last year with a hit list of talent to scout, and Triantis wasn't on it. But catching the eye in a domineering win, 20-year-old Triantis far eclipsed other players Harvey was there to watch, and Sunderland instantly set about tracking down his agent. With an offer already on the table from Crystal Palace and inquiries from Stoke City, Norway and the Bundesliga, Sunderland put together a pathway through first-team football and stole him from underneath all the competition for the bargain price of £500,000. Since then, Triantis has had four outings for the under-21s and played once for the first team in the early season defeat to Crewe in the FL Cup. But today, with our first choice centre half suspended, he found out he was playing just minutes before kickoff when Dennis Serkin pulled up in the warm up. Triantis, though, has made a habit in his young career of handling pressure and seizing opportunities. If you want to know more about Triantis' background, why Sunderland signed him, and what sort of player he is, then click on the link at the end of this video. In the meantime, let's see how he did today. Here's Nick Tarios Triantis' full league debut and all his touches. The championship season is a long and winding road, but we have two sides here today, both in need of a victory. Has scored for Sunderland in their previous 18 games. And that's a run going back. He's been working with a young and relatively small squad for some time. And he'll have confidence that Triantis can step. Silt signed from PSV Eindhoven. Has very little senior football behind him previously. Rusin. Led with a challenge there, which will lead to a free kick for the challenge on Hume. The players who came on to try and finish it. Burke, now Stansfield. Oliver Burke making his 100th league start today in his career across 10 different clubs, and he looks to have an early injury problem. Dean Whitestone will quickly usher on the physio. And Oliver Burke, another player who has had a number of significant injury setbacks throughout his career. Burke was challenged there by both Sealt and Triantis, and it was Triantis who caught him, but there didn't look to be any malice in it. Sealt. Here is Triantis. Due to the form of both 09 and Ballard, both players have had Roberts. Bellingham again. The first corner of the game. Volley back through the crowd and just wide. And Neil on the end of that. I was header straight to him and he caught it well, but Sanderson. Burke chasing and there's confusion there. Patterson outside his area. Burke goes down. And in the end, it's a goal kick. Hume. of eight Sunderland signings during the transfer window, aged 21 or younger. Tony Mowbray. Clark's corner, Rusin starts, Birmingham! Well, it's the Birmingham fan who has given Sunderland the lead. No celebration from Joe Bellingham now scored against them very well worked set piece the delivery from Clark 
Rusin's clever touch and Bellingham unmarked just had to guide the ball in. Sunderland with nine shots already. In possession of nearly 70%. Roberts with the corner, oh it travels a long way, and it's off the post again, it was Bellingham again who almost made it too. But it was Iwu at the near post who ducked underneath it, Bellingham shot into the ground and off the post and it fell kindly for Ruddy. Out of sight already. Five games coming into this one after... A run of five wins in six. Miyoshi now led on the overlap. And the shot fired towards goal by Stansfield. And this was the chance for Birmingham. Miyoshi with a clever pass to release Laird. It was Burke's shot and then Stansfield. Roberts returns for now. Sanderson. And Burke is offside. Now, Sunderland trying to play out, play themselves into trouble. It's flicked on by Burke. Stansfield was almost in again. Bakuna! And it's wide. Anthony Patterson scrambling the ball away under pressure from Stansfield. And Bakuna in the end was some way wide. Genuinely back in the game now. Mayoshi. Challenge comes in from Triantis, but here is Stansfield and Miyoshi equalises. And again, Sunderland caught out. And Miyoshi was involved in the move to try and find Stansfield. He eventually regathered after the challenge from Triantis. Winning the League and Cup double last season. And that's his third goal for Birmingham in the Champions Triantis, Equar, when Sunderland scored and hit the post twice, now Sonic has won the ball back from Neil. Three Birmingham players ahead of him, including Miyoshi. Stansfield waits in the area with Burke. Miyoshi's cross, it's helped on by Sonic. Right through. But Miyoshi looks a real talent for Birmingham, and the cross in. They have been a lot more impressive than maybe they have been over the last couple of years. Bellingham. Decent win for Sunderland here today, they're in the back so far. Ruddy going longer this time, and Miyoshi picking out Burke, that's a really good pass. Stansfield was waiting, but the ball back to him allowed Huggins to make the challenge, and in the end, the challenge... Ruddy playing it simpler there, and Miyoshi again finding space. And Stansfield completely unmarked, but... Triantis. It's driven in and headed towards goal by Sanderson. Clark. Equa straight to Stansfield. An opportunity here, but Equa recovers. They've had more shots on target in the game now than Sunderland.
ball forward. And Rusin has got there before Ayuk. Now Roberts. And Sunderland get the second half underway. And they're very quickly given the ball away. Here is Miyoshi. Looking for Stansfield. Laird. Stansfield again. And now Laird again. All this from Sunderland's. And that's a good ball. Stansfield. And Triantis caught on the wrong side there momentarily, but he's able to recover. And he and Birmingham look a very good fit at the moment. He could be caught out. There could be room for Birmingham on that side, but Bakuna challenged as he looked to try and find Oliver Burke and here is Bellingham now Clark beyond there this time and the ball had gone behind Equa Concerned with what was going on at the other end of the field. Well, Rooney scored. Miyoshi. Stands field. Led. Sunderland leading the corner count comprehensively so far. Short to Neil. Now Roberts. Hume, keeping the ball alive! And it's scrambled in. And it's Triantis, the player who only learned he was playing a few minutes before kickoff. And now he scored his first Sunderland goal. Well, it was chaos on that Birmingham goal line. No one's quite sure who got the final touch. A high hanging cross from Roberts. Hume doing really well to keep the ball alive. And the clearance from Ayu seemingly deflecting in off Triantis. And Sunderland are ahead once again. Are you got the first touch? Oh, and then it's in off Sanderson, it's an own goal. But Sunderland are ahead. And the credit. The game has become very open once again. Hume, three seasons ago when they were in League One. It's worked short to Miyoshi. Iwu. Now Clark. Okay to continue. Oh, James rather is okay to continue. Fifteen of Birmingham's 19 points so far this season have come at St Andrews. And as it stands, they won't be taking anything here. Stansfield. Tariki Dembele is preparing to come on for Birmingham. And not before the corner. Miyoshi's delivery and it's straight in. Neil. But it's given away. Hogan. Djukovic in support, but Hogan goes alone. 
Djokovic. Miyoshi. Situation at the moment. Like Hogan and Djokovic ahead of him. Here is Djokovic, driven wide, but he got the shot away. Patterson makes the save, Hogan. And that was a moment of hope for Birmingham. from Oakley but Sunderland Dembele Sonic Djokovic good save from Patterson